If you want a big fan base, be an otter. Hey guys, it's Jen. So it's my second day. Um, I'm off to a little bit of a later start than I had planned on, and I'm not doing what I was planning on doing. I was going to go to Magic Kingdom today, and literally an hour ago decided to go to Animal Kingdom instead because I really want to see the safari. I want to see if the baby giraffe that I saw be born is out on the savanna. I want to see the new otter exhibit. I was going to do this tomorrow, but I just changed it up to doing it today. I don't have any fast passes. I would like to get a fast pass for the safari, but I'm going to get there early enough that I think it'll be okay. And let's go to Animal Kingdom. Everybody is all busy and excited to go rope drop their favorite attraction and I'm here to see otters and I just asked the cast member um, you know what time the otters will be out and, and um, he said whenever they feel like it the otters are very unpredictable <laughs> oh there they are now you can see them good up here can you guys see them they're over there hanging out oh my gosh they're so stinking cute So funny, you guys. Okay, so the otter exhibit was a hit. I think it was more fun watching the other adults. I didn't get good footage of the otters, because you know, they're otters, but and they're hard to catch doing cool things. They did do a few cool things, but I loved watching there was one man literally jumping up and down when he saw that they were out and everybody was so excited to see them. So if you want a big fan base, be an otter. You guys, it's a big turtle. Oh my gosh, it's all the big turtles. I think maybe I didn't go to zoos enough as a child because I am just, oh, this one over here. Hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh. Hi, turtles. Hi, turtles. Goodness, hello turtles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, turtles eating. So I'm over here at the Tree of Life, just walking around and looking at all the carvings and they haven't even let out the first show yet. So it's getting ready to get really busy here because the whole show is gonna come out. But you can come over here and see all of the amazing carvings on the tree. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's just a totally different vantage point and I just love it. Baby. Oh look, there's more and more of it. Look, another baby. Uh huh. Baby, all the way up. And teenagers. The teenager just walked by. Here's a rat baby. Okay, so I am at the Harambe Marketplace, 
um, and the, you know, it's a little food court area, and I got the roasted vegetable bowl with saffron rice, which looks amazing. And then this is the You Are Beautiful cake, which is to go along with the wall that's out there that, that everybody gets their picture in front of. So, and it says, actually says on the menu, make sure you go get your picture taken um, before you eat the cake, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the cake first. <laughs> I haven't taken a bite yet, but look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Okay. Look how cute. And that's what the inside looks like. It's really good. It's different than I thought it would be. It has like a lemon curd. So it's not super, super rich. It's actually really um, like light. And then it's got, um, I think maybe that's coconut around the bottom part of it. Mmm. Oh, it's like really refreshing. So yeah, highly recommend it. If it's $4.99, it's really yummy, really different. So good choice. <laughs> Hello, I am back at the room for my break. Um, it is about 10 to 1 and it's getting really warm, which as we know, I don't do the parks when it's crowded and hot in the middle of the day. It always amazes me as I was coming out. Now, I'm not I'm not judging you. You vacation how you want, darn it. It is your trip. You do whatever you want. I, for one, would not want to be pushing a stroller, large group of people coming into a park in May in Orlando when it is already like 87 degrees. So it's super warm today and I was super glad to be heading out of there back to my nice air-conditioned hotel room. <laughs> Um, I, I wanted to share really quick because uh, this is the second time I have done this at Animal Kingdom uh, where I have gone in really primarily just to view animals and do the safari and I had such a great morning and that early morning time while everyone is rushing to rope drop to do you know uh, obviously flight of passage or Navi River journey or Expedition Everest you really have all of those animal areas to yourself and I saw otters and turtles and um you know uh, an aardvark and things that i wouldn't have seen otherwise i got to tour kind of where all the you know how you can go around the tree of life and see all the different carvings and it was the birds it was amazing and it was just super relaxing for me so i think it would have been less so if i was rushing trying to get to the next thing and i saw more than one family where one member of the family really wanted to linger and and spend more time with the animals but everybody was like hurry up hurry up hurry up and I really think Animal Kingdom of all of the parks almost deserves like two mornings, maybe one morning to rope drop and you know ride, ride, ride and do all of that. And then maybe do another morning, might even work on a rest day, right? A day where you just wanna be in a park for a little bit and just really focus on the animal areas. It, it was so good just for my blood pressure and it was just a really happy, happy morning. And you can really get all of that done and still be done by noon and just be on your way, so. Anyway, that's kind of my 
very slow approach to Animal Kingdom. I saw a lot of things today that I didn't even know were there. I've never seen those turtles before. They were crazy. All right, next up, let's go to the pool. Should we go to the pool? Let's go to the pool. Yeah, good idea. about an hour just laying and relaxing and now I'm gonna go back over to the quiet pool because I want to actually swim and the pool area itself was a little um, on the rowdy side which would have been totally fine um, I just I just wasn't feeling it so <laughs> I'm gonna walk back to the casitas actually has a quiet pool I don't think each section has its own quiet pool but I know that the casitas does so um, of course anyone could use it but um, I peeked in there yesterday and it looked really nice so I'm gonna head over there and I'll show you guys what the pool scene is like over there okay so I'm looking sorry about the shadows but I'm looking at the map and it does look like every neighborhood has their own um, quiet pool so that's actually really nice this pool is actually a lap lane pool, which if you saw my review of the Swan and Dolphin, I didn't know any of the Disney pools had designated lap lanes. So, I mean, they're not designated. Kids are, could be in there too, but if you were a swimmer, I don't know if all the quiet pools are this way, but I'll show you the lap lanes. See? And I mean, it's like a decent, maybe like half size Olympic. You could really do a pool workout there. I'm very impressed. Scott will want to know that for sure. I got the kids nachos, which is still gonna be way too much food for me, but I like that it came with carrots and a cookie, and I also got this, and it was um, $7 and something. So it's, it's, it's a decent snack, and dinner's not until 7.20, so that'll definitely um, you know keep me filled up until dinner, and the pool was amazing, so I'm gonna eat my nachos. I really like it in here since, I mean, I wasn't ever here before when it was the pepper market, but. They have a lot of really great stuff and um, a lot of fun Mexican food items. So yeah, looks, I, I'm really impressed. Hello. Okay, so the pool was great. I napped by the pool a little. I went for a swim. I showered. I redid my hair. I redid my makeup. And it is remarkable how getting out of the heat and the sun will just rejuvenate you. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. If you watch my packing video, you heard me say, I'm gonna stick this dress in there just in case uh, somebody invites me out to dinner and somebody did. Well, to be fair, I called her, but. <laughs> You guys have seen my sponsored videos with um, that I do for Chantel at DVC by Resale. She's been on the channel a couple of times, and uh, she and I are going to go to Flying Fish for dinner. So that was an unexpected choice. Totally breaks my rules of my budget Disney trip. But as I said when we started, that if a friend asked me to dinner, that I would do that. So last night was Tuto Gusto with Brooke and Katie. Tonight is going to be with Chantel, and I'm super excited. So I'm going to head into Epcot first. I'm going to walk through Epcot, kind of take my time, uh, double check I don't want to buy anything. I know I'm not supposed to be shopping from Flower and Garden. I'm just breaking it like, I was like, it's a budget trip except for I'm drinking Prosecco and going to Flying Fish. And anyway, um, I'm trying. 
<laughs> um, I'm gonna show you that little dress um, on so you guys can see it. Okay, here's that um, that little dress and it's just a little v-neck and unfortunately these flip-flops are not maybe the best with it but oh well now, I do love this dress because it has pockets so that's kind of nice because I can stick my phone in there and I am headed out you guys look what I got she's so cute and guess what mm. she tastes really good too mm. I love her He's my new best friend. <laughs> so that was so fun. Um, we didn't film because the yellow concert was going on and it was so loud. <laughs> but I just got to meet Angela Dahlgren from Touring Plans and I'll insert a picture right here of the two of us together. Click. And uh, yeah, she was just so fun. We've chatted on Twitter for a while now and I've watched her doing uh, Touring Plans videos for golly, four years now. So I will put a link right here to the Touring Plans YouTube channel if you want to go watch Angela in action. Um, and if you do not belong to Touring Plans, you really should join. They have great resources. And I have been, let's see, thir I was 37. I know because my username has 37 in it and now I'm 48. So that's how long I've had a membership. Um, but it's really helpful to help you like predict park days and um, their lines app is amazing for while you're in the parks and also gives you like show times and all of that and i find it's actually a much more stable app than the disney world app so anyway definitely give them a uh, a try and angela thanks for meeting with me and being so sweet it was great meeting your sister and your aunt they were awesome too and i may end up running into her tomorrow so we'll, we'll see if that happens okay now off to dinner with chantel there, well, there we go. Because I'm blind. It's Chantel. I know that we look we look up backlit. We look like Warren Beatty lighted. You know when, when what movie was that? Madonna. No. What, what movie was it with the uh, Warren Beatty and? Um, come on, you guys. What movie was what it? Movie and was every it? screen. The one that uh, an affair to remember, but it was love affair. It was the remake of an affair to remember, and every scene Warren Beatty insisted that he have like this age screen in front of him, so he looked like 20 years younger. Where's my age screen? I know, I know, I need one too. We just we just <laughs> ran into a waiter who knew me from 30 years ago. Oh, <laughs> a few years ago. A long time Where was ago. the pom at the Pompano Grill? Mm -hmm. Where was it? I was 12. Where was the sure. Pompano Grill? It is where Saratoga Springs is now, but it was okay. a golf course. And ah. it was where the um, Disney executives would come for lunch. And I served breakfast and lunch. Very yeah. fancy. It was my first job. Wow. I was still a baby. And Joey, that is our server, has worked for the company, what did he say, 35, 35 years? years. 35 years and seems to be really happy. So we'll let you know if he does a decent job. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're in good hands. I think we are. So we're at Flying Fish. It's gorgeous in here. We're going to have some Prosecco. We're going to have some dinner. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Okay, everybody, this is Joey. And Joey is our server tonight. And he and Chantel go back a few years, right, Joey? Why a few. <laughs> We're so glad you're here tonight. And you've been with the company for 35 years? 35 coming up. 35 years. That's quite a legacy. Good job, Joey. <laughs> From beginning to end. What did you think of your service? Was it really good? Did we provide good service? So so. <laughs> She's showing her business card. <laughs> like you guys don't already know how much I love her and that if you are thinking of buying or selling DVC, this is your girl. I can help. Also, the orange bird was with us <laughs> for dinner tonight. Look how she's looking at you. She loves you. Okay, for real, for real. What did you there think? There was no champagne involved in the making just of this video. one bottle. Just one bottle, as opposed to last night, which was not my bottle. Last night. Okay, so what did you think of your meal? Talk loud. Uh, my meal was delicious. I had the sea bass. It literally melted in my mouth. Yep. I wanted five portions instead of one. Yep. Uh, we also did the artisan cheese plate, which was delicious. I'm a cheese fanatic. Uh, it had smoked gouda. It had probably one of the best blue cheeses I've ever had, ever. It had, uh, it wasn't a brie, but it was 
is a creamy similar that was delicious it, the, so that was great but the the bath melted in my mouth fantastic mm -hmm. yeah and so you're vegetarian i had the vegetarian i had the mushroom and risotto or i guess it was mushroom risotto it was what joey recommended fresh delicious so so good i loved it i, I thought the whole bite was great the service was great joey was really awesome and joey not just great. because he's known you forever that was just a really fun experience he's always been a great server yeah always and we were very lucky to have yeah. him and it was just phenomenal that i knew him this girl, love her so much. Anyway, she's awesome. All right, so anyway, flying fish. You should try it. It's Thumbs good. Up. It's good. It's amazing. So, dinner with Chantel was amazing. She is such a great friend, and for sure, as you guys know, I trust her. You definitely should check out her company. Um, but you know moreover even than that piece of it she's just a really good person whoops my phone just went totally crazy I'm trying to put my backpack on <laughs> um, so I'm here on the boardwalk lots of excitement everybody's out it's a gorgeous night um, I think I said this earlier today but these may up oh, friendship boat you know I have a thing for friendship boats you guys I just friendship boats are my monorail like, I love me some monorail, but the friendship boats just swoon. Anyway, we just become really good friends and uh, just mean a lot to me. So, thank you, Chantel, for being awesome, for being a good partner in business, but also a really good friend. And uh, it's just really nice. So, now I'm headed back through Epcot because it is extra magic hours tonight, I think. Hopefully when I get over to International Gateway. I don't get shut out of Epcot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of, you know, after last night and being there when it wasn't very busy, it was super fun. So I'm going to walk back through Epcot and head back. And as of right now, I am scheduled to be <laughs> at Hollywood Studios at 7 a.m. to meet my friend Sherry for the 30th anniversary of Hollywood Studios. But I'm not sure that's actually going to happen. Um, because it kind of depends on how I feel in the morning, so we'll see. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks for being here today, you guys. I hope that you had fun. I know I had fun, and I'll see you next time.